<laughs> so this happens to you. You go to see your local team. It's like your release party, and you walk in, and you're all excited because you've been slaving on this stuff. And someone guy comes up to you, goes, "You guys broke my wireless again." You go, "Ah." Oh. Has this happened to anyone before? Okay. As it ends up, um, you ask him how he ended up in that state, and you find out that he read some official guide somewhere or some unofficial guide somewhere else. And what happened? He followed it, and next thing you know, he's running Endis wrapper instead of something else, and then he does an upgrade, and I'm pretty much sick of that. So the problem. You guys have it. Hey, wait, I fixed this bug. Why are you still having this problem and bugging me about it? You know, this happens a lot with the kernel team. The cause, I will go into. But first, a question. What does this mean? It means seven years of my life. It means, no, I mean, you know, it means a lot of things to a lot of people. The quality of this symbol is very important to us. And right now, that symbol is being slogged through the mud. Because too much information on the internet is wrong and it's hurting our users. So you ever get this thing, the guy's like, hey, your uh, boot splash isn't the right resolution. I can fix that for you. And they do. And then you broke your bootloader. It's like, is it worth it? But people are doing it. Why are they? Because a lot of people are to blame. Right? <laughs> you better come in here and patch your kernel. Otherwise, you're, ugh, you guys know. So who's to blame? So 19 Linux guy is like our favorite because he's the loudest guy in the lug usually and people listen to him and you don't know why but you don't say anything right experts need peer review uh, I posted an answer on Ask Ubuntu and I thought it was right and Colin Watson came down and gave me a down vote <laughs> everybody needs peer review because everyone makes mistakes blogs news site how many times have you seen this if a blog or news site has the words daily PPA in it users shouldn't be using it and if they are, you're full of fail. If you're one of those new site people out there, I know where you are. Stop! <laughs> and you and me, we let this happen. Now we have to clean up this mess. So it's, it's, it's fun to make fun of other people. Um, but we fail to lead by example in one critical area, the Ubuntu Wiki. So I'm going to ask everyone here to do one thing. Delete something. <laughs> this cycle, I want you to delete more pages than you make. I don't care if somebody tells you Linux is about choice, I want to put my end disk wrapper. No, delete it. Gone. And then after that, keep it gone and kill it with fire. <laughs> so, show of hands, I, state your name, <laughs> I, <laughs> will, will, delete, delete. at least five wiki pages this cycle. <laughs> there are hundreds of thousands. I talked to IS. I was like, will this make a dent? They're like, no. F <laughs> Everyone in this room, five wiki pages gone. And if someone yells at you and you, they have to rewrite it, I would rather have someone rewrite it with current stuff than someone trying to load the kernel modules from Breezy, who knows how they still get them, right, into like their lucid thing and breaking your thing. So please, if someone gets in your way, move around. Delete. That's all. Thank you. <laughs>